Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, I'm in the Photoshop beta. It just updated earlier, a few hours ago, and there is a new feature. It's called Generative Expand. Let me show you what I'm talking about, and then I'm gonna show you multiple ways to use this tool. So here we go, I'm in Photoshop beta. First off, in order to access it, you need to hover over the Crop tool, select the Crop tool, and then watch this. When I do that, if I zoom in here, you're gonna see I'm hovering over something called Generative Expand. You can do a bunch of things. The first and probably the most interesting one, of course, is I can just expand this image. So by just clicking on the edge and pulling it, you're gonna see here that I have the ability to expand it, and then it's gonna ask me what I'd like to generate. Two options. One, I can say, you know, in a, in a restaurant, or I can put like, what would you like to be uh, in a restaurant? Or I can just leave it blank. There's two options. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this one. I'm gonna let it run its thing. I'm gonna come back when it's done, and then I'm gonna show you what it does when you put nothing in the prompt. All right, so I said my dog's in a restaurant. Look at that, it's given me a set of cups. You know what, that works for me. I'll click on this, he's sitting beside a plate, and that one's not so good. So I'm just clicking through the, the arrows here to select one. I like the cup one, so that would work, and then I have a new image. Let me show you some other options. All right, so another, another option is if I wanted to, let's say I wanted to do that again, but this time I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna hold down the Shift key, and you're gonna see here that I am expanding it proportionally. So it is expanding proportionally, but it is not going from, it's not going from all sides. If I hold down the Alt key on a PC, Option key on a Mac, it is now pulling it in an exact proportional. So it's either you can pull it one direction or upwards and to the right, for example, in this case, or you can hold down the Alt or Option key and you can do a fully perfect <laughs> uh, expansion. So these are the other two options. Now watch this, I'm just gonna let go and you're gonna see here I've got all of this space on all of the different sizes. Now in the last one, I showed you how to do it if I was in a restaurant, let's say, and the dog, my puppy, King said was in a restaurant. Now watch this, I'm gonna just click on Generate with nothing in the prompt. I'm gonna come back when it's done and I'm gonna show you how good this is. Look at that, that is fantastic. It even filled out the back end of my paparoo. Uh, let's click through a few of the other options. That one's not so good. That one's not too bad, but the first one is very, very good. So this is a second way to use generative expand. Let's start from scratch. I'm gonna show you another way. All right, another option is to use it for multiple expansions. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I'm gonna grab the crop tool. Automatically, you'll see Generative Expand has popped up. I'm gonna pull this down a little bit, let's say. But when I pull it down, I look at that and I go, oh, you know, that's not quite right. I want it to go maybe another bit to this side. So you'll see here that I'm just sort of pulling and making multiple expansions. And if I hold Shift key down, it constrains the proportions. But there you go, you can do multiple expansions with Generative Expand. Another option is you can do ratio or aspect ratio expansion. So in this one, I get, basically we've got a rectangle here, but if I start going up to the top here, you'll see here we have some options. We have ratio, we have width times height times resolution. We've got one to one aspect ratio, four, five, five, seven, 16, nine, et cetera, et cetera. I will show you 16, nine. Watch this, I'm just gonna click on that. And presto, it's selected a 16 by nine aspect ratio. Now, if I pull on this, I can actually go ahead and expand out using 16 by nine. And because we can do multiple expansions, I'm gonna go ahead and do something like that. So we've got the my dog in the image, but we've got all of this area around each side. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on generate. I'm not gonna add in any prompt. Watch what happens. I'll come back when it's done. It has done an excellent job. It's filled out these sides with some blank space there. We've got some, it's like he's in a nice big room there that wasn't there. Well, it's there now. Looks great. If I click through some of the options, they're all quite good. Now, I wanna show you how to go ahead and use it for patterns. Let's watch this. All right, for this demonstration, I've got this cool looking image here, and I wanna make this image into a background pattern, for example. So what I'm gonna do, of course, I'm gonna go to the Crop tool, and you'll see here that it's remembering that I was on ratio, and I don't want that. So I'm just gonna go ahead, and I'm gonna go ahead and clear all that. Let's go back to original ratio. So this is the original. Now watch this, I'm just gonna pull this down, and I'm gonna go ahead and say, this is the size, this is massive. Uh, let's go with something a little smaller, something like that. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and type in the word pattern. When I do that, we're gonna get some options. Watch this, I'll show you when I come back here. Look at that, it has done an amazing job 
turning that original image into a full pattern. Wow, look, I mean, that's, the first one's perfect. I mean, if there's another one, great. Hey, that looks good too, but absolutely awesome. Now, let me show you one final way to use generative expand. All right, the last way I'm gonna show you is you can rotate an image and expand it as well. This is kind of cool. I'm gonna click, of course, I'm gonna click on the crop tool and then I'm gonna pull it just like I would normally do, but watch this. When I hover over to the right side here or any side on these corners, you're gonna see the double arrow. I'm now gonna go ahead and sort of turn this and look at that. I've kind of got this grid thing going on here and I can now, well, let's maybe move it over a bit. Now let's just leave it like that. I've rotated him and maybe now uh, I'm gonna put something like, instead of just blank, I'll put in a tornado outside, something like that. Just maybe my dog's going into a tornado. I don't know, something silly like that. I'm gonna click generate, come back when it's done. Okay, so that got a little weird pretty quick here. Let's see what the other options are. Yeah, not so good. Okay, a little bit better, but you guys get the point. The point is, is you can rotate and expand out an image easily just using that tool. So those are all the different ways you can use generative expand. It's in the Photoshop beta. Hopefully it's in the full Photoshop release shortly. Thanks for watching.